Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blue Eyed Beth. I've got half a voice at the moment and I just want to say thank you to MSI for sending over this beast of a motherboard, the Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi, which we will be unboxing and installing today. Bit of a life update. Um, I had a plan to do this YouTube video, a QA and a YouTube video and also a room tour because I really like the space here now. However, um, after my exams, I had two weeks off. In that time, I got shingles. I got, oh, I had a burst ovarian cyst, which I never would ever recommend to anyone. And I got COVID again for the second time. So my lack of voice is the remnants of that going away. I'm gonna try to get this recorded in the next hour or so before the light goes. So there's gonna be a challenge. Now let's get on with the unboxing. To make the most of this motherboard's capabilities, MSI have paired it with the Intel 12900K CPU and 32GB of Kingston DDR5. This brings us nicely to one of the first selling points of this board. It supports Intel 12th Gen processors, DDR5 memory and PCIe 5.0. Unless you feel like trolling through some of my older PC videos, this means that this board is ready for the newest Intel processors on the market. A new generation of memory, which you may know as DDR5 RAM, and the connection between the motherboard and the graphics card will be compatible with new SSDs and graphics cards for years to come. Let's talk about aesthetics. My first impressions were how premium the motherboard looks with the extra coverage of dragon scale look carbon fiber effect covering the M.2 slots and heat pipe along the top and also how it feels with the eight layer PCB made of two ounce thickened copper. Not to forget also that the RGB is more noticeable on this board with the MSI dragon logo design, but it's still fully customizable if you're not a fan of the extra light. One real quality of life feature that takes the pressure off an experienced PC builder such as myself is the USB stick MSI includes, which helps you get updated with drivers that you need if you're switching over motherboards or processors. Another notable upgrade is that the Carbon Wi-Fi has five M.2 slots that all have heat sinks, which MSI calls their Shield Frozer. The installation of my three NVMe drives was easy and the extra clip locks made my drives extra secure, which gave me some peace of mind. There is a generous three PCIe slots to allow for multi-GPU configurations and six SATA 6GB per second ports in the side of the motherboard. Now let's get the Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi mounted to my case. What you're aiming to do here is line up the pre-installed input slash output or also known as the IO with the open back of the case trying not to scratch the bottom of the motherboard with the pre-installed standoffs. Here I am applying the thermal paste to the CPU in order for the heat generated to conduct to the all-in-one CPU cooler to disperse the heat. You only need a pea-sized drop if not less thermal paste, then you can line up the CPU cooler to the standoffs and then screw in. Everyone will have a slightly different configuration of components for this part and as a first time builder this process was quite intimidating but as long as you account for say every SATA cable and consult your manual um, for your motherboard you should be absolutely fine. Time for one of the finishing touches as this cooler has an LCD screen so it's important to remember to add the cover on after you've installed the AIO. See? Much better. Looking around the back of the board, we see a variety of ports included in the pre-installed I.O. panel for your peripherals and USB drives. Also, onboard Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 are included with an external antenna for optimum connection. Now, let's plug in the PSU and get this booted up. Now, we've all been waiting for to see the Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi in action. Even now, I still get a little pang of anxiety when swapping over any components, hoping that the new configuration will post first time. So, let's take a look. Ba -ba -da -ba. Whew, that's always a good feeling. Except, apparently my RGB on one of my fans might be a bit loose, but that's not a motherboard issue. It was just, I've got a little adapter and it might have uh, not been quite connected right. But now those lights are back on. So, now that we've got to post and Cthulhu is on my screen again, the only thing I had to do was uh, use that USB stick that MSI provides you with to install new drivers. I used MSI Center and Mystic Light inside of that program to change my lighting um, to kind of a, a cool, cool white, um, which I thought looked quite cool. And yeah, I'm over the moon with this board. I really love the RGB over the heatsink. Um, I think it just looks, it looks stunning with that kind of carbon fiber look 
and it also really gels with the rest of the MSI products I have, being the graphics card and the AIO. It's all matte black and very, very, very pretty. I'm extremely happy. Now, I would say overall, I'm very impressed with the value for money of this board, with it being 12th gen Intel processor ready. It supports DDR5, and also it's going to be compatible with GPUs in the next couple of years because it's PCIe 5.0 rather than 4.0. I would say it's really good value for money and it has a really premium finish and a lot of premium features too. Now that we've been through some of the features of this board, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about upgrading or sticking with your current motherboard, whether you're bothered about upgrading for DDR5 and a bit of compatibility with future GPUs and processors, or whether you're just going to stick with the, pro with the motherboard that you have. As always, those of you who stuck all the way through to the end, especially with my rather croaky throat. I really appreciate you <laughs> and thank you again so much to MSI for sending me out this board. It's been an absolute pleasure installing it. I really like the features and I can't wait to see what it's capable of in the next couple of weeks when I'm feeling a bit better and actually gaming a bit more. If you don't want to miss out on the Q&A session that I'm going to have coming up and the full room tour which is going to look very cool, um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.